Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will be showing everyone how to use iWeb in combination with Dropbox to upload a website to the internet easily, legally, and for free. The first thing you're going to need to do is download a program called iWeb. The newer Macs may not come with this program, so you may need to search it out on your own. Because Apple discontinued the Mobile Me feature, which allows you to publish a website for free, I'm going to be using a third-party website to show you how to get around this. The website is free and meets the purposes for most users. So let's get started. Go ahead and open iWeb. If you direct your attention to the top left of your screen, you will see a folder called Site. I believe this is the default file name for the iWeb website. If not, it still should be located here. If you click the drop-down arrow, it'll take you to the settings for publishing your website. At the top, you see Publish To, and there are three options. The first says Mobile Me, which has been discontinued, so we can go ahead and ignore that. The second is FTP Server, which is for more advanced users. You can look up how to do this if you want to on your own, but the next option is, in my opinion, much more easy to understand and faster to navigate. The third option says Local Folder. Local Folder is where we will be publishing to. Under that, you will see the name of your site, and you can change this to whatever you want it to be. It really doesn't matter at this point. Below that, you will see Folder Location, and right now yours should be blank. Mine isn't because I have already set up my website. The bottom of your screen says Website URL. I'm actually paying for a domain through a company called Dino Names, which is fairly cheap and allows me to have a .org, .net, .com, or other standard URL address. If after this tutorial you would rather have one of these endings, you can do everything I'm going to show you today, but minus the third-party website. Go ahead and minimize iWeb, and open Safari. In the Google search, type in Dropbox. Click Dropbox Simplify Your Life. On the Dropbox website, scroll down to the bottom where it says Download Dropbox. You can download it for Windows, Mac, Linux, and mobile, etc. Go ahead and download Dropbox and install it onto your computer. When you're finished installing it, go to your desktop. Okay, on your desktop, create a new folder. You can right-click your mouse and click New Folder, or you can do it using the trackpad and the laptop if you have a laptop. You can change this to whatever you want later, but right now let's call it Web. Next, open Finder, minimize Finder, and grab and drag this Web folder into your Finder Dropbox folder here and drag it and drop it. Then once again open iWeb. Go to folder location and find Dropbox and Web. Select it so that it looks like mine on my screen. This is where your website will be saved when you publish it. I'm not going to show you how to use iWeb to create your site in this tutorial. I will be just showing you how to publish it to the internet. So go ahead and click File, Publish Entire Site. Now, because my website contains quite a bit of information, I'm going to fast forward to the end of this publishing thing and resume directing you after it is finished publishing. Okay, now that it is done publishing, it'll say that your site has been published to the selected folder. That's the folder we just created, called Web. There are still a few more steps involved, so I'm going to have to minimize this window. Go back to Dropbox.com and sign in to the top right of your screen. After you've signed in, go ahead and minimize this internet window and open up Finder. 
click Dropbox, and in the top left and inside the Dropbox folder, you should see the folder called Web. This is where you published your iWeb website. Click on Web and drag and drop the index.html file and the site folder into the folder, into the public folder, like so. You should see it in this folder now. I don't want to do this myself because I already have my website up. Dropping the files here will upload your website to Dropbox. The next step is to publish your website from Dropbox to the third-party website I mentioned earlier. So go back to Dropbox.com and sign in. Find the file that says public and open that. And then find the file that says index.html. Right-click this file and click copy public link. You will need this for later. Open up a new tab and type in .tk in the search. Click on the first link and this is where you can get a free domain name. So I'm going to use the domain name called whatiswillistalkingabout.tk. Of course, you can personalize your own. Go ahead and click go. In a previous video on YouTube, I have seen someone tell you that what you need to do is type in the same domain name into this HTTP address. This is not true because as you can see, if I do this, what is Willis talking about? .tk, it says the URL you have been given is not valid. So instead of typing that in, go ahead and paste in the copy public link code into here, like this. Unfortunately, the maximum amount that is allowed is 12 months. This means that you have to go in every 12 months to this .tk website and re-sign up for your domain name. It only takes a minute though, so it's not that big of a deal. Type in the nonsense characters and click sign in. When you click sign in, it will give you a few choices of what you can use to register your account. I have a Google account, so this is what I use. You can select another option like Facebook if you prefer, but that's up to you. So go ahead and sign in. On the next page, you will see something that says, remember this approval. This is up to you. I prefer not to do this right now because I'm creating a fake domain name that I'm not going to use in the future. So I'm just going to uncheck this box and click allow. If you click no thanks, you will not be signed in. As you can see on this page, it says thank you for registering your domain name at the top with what is Will is talking about .tk as your domain name. This means you are done. But I wanted to show you one more thing to do with this website. At the top right, you will see login to my .tk. Click this. Go ahead and sign in again with Google and this will take you to the same page as before. This will take you into your my .tk control panel. On the right, you will see the number of domain names, one. On the left, you will see the name of your account. Mine is the Lens of Truth. At the top, it says Domain Panel here. Go ahead and click this, and from here you can see that you have a domain name set up as what is Willis talking about .tk. It also says free. It also says when it expires, so you can mark this on your calendar. You can modify this name or cancel it or upgrade it to a paid site or do whatever you want with it if you choose to do so. Also, you can add a domain simply by clicking Add Domain right here. But I'm going to delete mine because I don't need it and it's a fake account. So I'm going to do this really quickly. Delete. Next, open up a new tab in your Safari. Because you've already uploaded your website to Dropbox and now you've allowed Dropbox to work with MyTK, just type in your web address, which is what is Lewis talking about dot tk. This will mean your website should be up and running. However, because I just deleted mine, I'll show you two examples really quickly. As you can see, I have a website set up here which is detailing the story about my upcoming wedding. 
So congratulations to me. All right, the other website I wanted to show you real quick is my personal website that I pay for. Lensoftruth.org. This is a website I made to spread a message that I feel is vital to the survival of our world. This website is home to the free book that I wrote, so you can download the book for free if you want. In the future, I plan to have a Kindle version, an iBook version, and other versions including audiobook. But as of right now, just the PDF file is available for download. I write about an organization known as the Venus Project, which is the video you are seeing right in front of your screen. I highly recommend that you visit the venusproject.com. I also highly recommend you read my free book. I'm offering it to you for free in hopes that you too can see the world through a different lens. You can click the contact tab and email me if you still have questions about this tutorial. Thank you.